Hi, welcome to another video. So, DeepSeek has been generating a lot of hype because of the insane value it brings. And it was actually one of the first models that showed us that scaling is not all we need. Instead, we need great researchers who find ingenious ways to make things work at lower costs and make it more accessible for other researchers by open sourcing the technology and taking it even further. DeepSeek has been conducting such research and open sourcing their tech for years now, and it was only when the DeepSeek R1 attracted the media's attention that it led to a panic and other similar occurrences. So, in similar DeepSeek fashion, DeepSeek has also launched one of its new models, and it's called DeepSeek VL2. Its research paper and some details about it were launched a while back, but now we have the proper weights, and the model also has a proper space to test it out as well, which means that it's even better and free to try out. Let me tell you everything about this model, but before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Photogenius AI. Photogenius AI is an all-in-one AI-powered art generator that allows you to type anything and get stunning visuals instantly. Photogenius AI gives you all kinds of image generation models in one place, whether it be Flux, Stable Diffusion, Kardinsky, or any image generator model that you can think of. They have also recently added their new 3D generation suite, which allows you to give it a prompt or an image, and it can generate a 3D model for you that you can use anywhere. Not just that, it also gives you the option to do advanced AI image editing as well with their cool AI tools like an AI avatar generator, background removal, logo generator, emoji generator, or even add an app icon generator. And the best part is that it starts at only $10, and you can get an additional 25% off these already great deals by using my coupon code KING25. So, make sure that you check out photogenius.ai through the link in the description and generate some cool stuff with it. Now, let's come back to the video. So, DeepSeek VL2 is a mixture of experts model that is similar to the DeepSeek V3 and R1 models. In an MOE setup, instead of having one large network that handles all tasks, this design uses several smaller subnetworks called experts. When you give it a prompt, a gating network quickly figures out which experts are best suited to handle that input and uses only those. Each expert excels at certain tasks, as determined by the vector space. This makes the model more efficient and better at handling a wide range of topics without needing to activate all the parameters of the model for each task, while performing similarly or even better in some cases. Anyway, as the model's name suggests, it's a vision language model which means that it can perform vision tasks by analyzing images and letting you chat about them. It demonstrates superior capabilities across various tasks, including, but not limited to, visual question answering, optical character recognition, document-slash-table-slash-chart understanding, and visual grounding. There are three variants of the model. There's a VL2 tiny model that is about 3 billion parameters and comes with 1B activated parameters per inference, while there's also the DeepSeek VL2 small model, which is about 16B parameters and comes with 2.8B activated parameters, and the biggest one is the 27B model that comes with 4.5B activated parameters, which is also great to see. The model shows great potential in benchmarks where it can perform much better while only inferring a low number of activated parameters. This is more of an experimental model that demonstrates how the mixture of experts can scale in vision tasks, and most probably, we'll see a full-blown model 
based on this architecture soon. There's a technical report that details the entire process of how they created the models, the training, and all the intricate details as well. Now, the models are available on Hugging Face, and we can now also use them via their new Hugging Face spaces. Although, it only supports the DeepSeek VL2 small model as of now. So, there's that. You can upload an image here about what you want to chat about. There's also the gallery, and I don't know what this does. But I guess it will be a gallery of the images you upload, or something along those lines. You can also adjust the parameter settings here. I would recommend you leave the settings as they are by default. You can also select the model here, although it only has one option, as I mentioned earlier. Now, let's test it a bit, and let's see how well it performs on some vision tasks as well. So, the first question is to convert this flowchart into Python code. It will basically generate a random number, ask the user to guess it, until the user gets it. Once we send it, you'll see that it starts working on it, and if we wait a bit, then we have the answer here, and the code looks correct. But let's run it, and this works quite well. So, this is a pass for sure. The next question is based on this image. It is packaging that shows the calories for three slices each. I want it to tell me what the calories will be in five slices. It should be 100. Let's send it and see. So, this is the answer, and it is also fully correct, which is great to see. Next, I have this table which I want to convert to a markdown format table. Let's send it, and once we do that, you'll see that it starts generating the response. And here's the response, which looks super great. Next, we have a pretty hard question. I'm going to provide it with this image and ask it to tell me what's written on the top left red container, which says, Ground All Spice. Once we send it, you can see that we have the response here, and it is also correct. So, this is also great. Next, I have this image of a dog running with a motion blurred frame. So, let's send it here, and now we have the response, which is again correct. So, now let's just move on to the next one, which is an image of a meme that is self-explanatory. Let's send it and see if it understands the humor in this or not. Okay, so it understood the humor super well, which is amazing to see. Quen 2.5 and even Gemini 1.5 Flash were not good with this question, but this is good, which is just awesome. Anyway, now the final one is to ask it to write this as text. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and it is also correct. I have tried some other similar weight open source models as well, and it performs really well in comparison, not to mention that it's only the small model that infers about 3 billion activated parameters. So, this is a really good model, and especially as an experiment, it seems to be outstanding. I believe scaling it and merging it with something like DeepSeek V3 could be insanely good and enable superb multimodal reasoning with those models. And I believe that should follow pretty soon. It's another great research effort and a great new model from them. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.